All right, guys, and I know you know this, but this has turned into a really important game between these two squads. Seton Hall in Georgetown as we move into the month of February here in the Big East. And the latest projections from our Stuart Mandel on FoxSports.com tells you exactly why these teams need this one so badly. Seton Hall. Rodriguez drives to the rim. Offensive board, Delgado, the nation's leader in rebounding, takes advantage of it with a putback and a 9-2 start for Seton Hall. Being more patient, looking to execute, you get good looks. Miles Powell drills a three, and he'll have a chance at a four-point play. Matched a career high with 26 on Wednesday night. This is all about patience. Watch coming off the screen. And Powell gets set nicely, feet, shoulders square. Pound for a guy. Georgetown looks to push in transition. LJ Peak. Euro steps and lays it in. Get them today, but a little bit stagnant lately on this end. Derrickson now draws the defense on Delgado, who backs in on him and goes over the top for two. Delgado off the screen for Carrington. Now Rodriguez at eat three to tie the game. Should I say it? Bubblicious? I like it. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Here's Pryor working to the rim and laying it in. And nine for run. Well, that possession is saved by LJ Peaks. Heroics on the offensive glass. So go down the lane and off the feet. Delgado now screens. Carrington rejects it. Slides it off for Sonogo's second slam of the second half. Peak around his screen. Rises and hits. Georgetown back in front. Getting some opportunity. Here's Powell. Doesn't need much room. Rodriguez curling in the lane, and Seton Hall jumps back in. And you have to shoot him. Door left open, two-point game. Last chance for Georgetown. LJ Peak, is he the hero? No, Seton Hall hangs on for its first Big East road win. 68-66.